Hey there guys, welcome back to Strifinity or welcome to Strifinity. Today it's me and I am back here with another gaming video and today we are playing Minecraft once again. This is right, that's right, this is the Kamen Rider series episode 8. I got that kind of Look at that shiny armor and nobody can refuse to see such a beautiful armor because this is the strongest armor which we got last game but today all of that actually might change we actually might be able to get a stronger armor than this but that is just theory because i found out something about ghost which might be really interesting uh and uh we have collected i have been mining like crazy like crazy i've been mining and these out of all of everything i got these are the newest and the most latest things I got and these these are the exact things I really want for today's episode. Like if you guys remember the Mighty Brothers Double X. I want to um uh, actually I had these two Kachidoki arms in the Kiwami lock seat for a long time already. But uh, I wanted to test them out. Since I got them, I, I just went ahead with that. We have bunch of energy lock seeds, which is there for Gaim. But I won't get it as of now because to do this, it's gonna take a lot of time before I'm actually at that level. So we are not gonna be uh, uh, doing the energy lock seat today. But some things and game have to be done. I'm gonna test out a few lock seeds. This is a lock seed never heard of, but since I got it with the energy ore, I'm just gonna leave it like that since I have no idea what it exactly does. We got this Helheim lock seed. Go to Helheim. Which is probably a dimension, but I'm not sure how this works. So this, I'm going to skip it and we're going to do this later. There's a good thing I keep the patch of lava here. Uh, I don't think I need this. And sorry cobble, but I have stacks already. So it's kind of sad burning cobble, but I hope you guys don't mind. So, oh, where's the entrance? Yeah, let's head up to, uh, let's go towards the uh, upper entrance since this video has a lot a lot to do okay so uh right things i want to get done in this ga uh, game right now we are going to go through oh yeah so this is the kiwami lock seed actually this is the kiwami lock seed i don't know why do i i think i had it initiated in the first place i think it's rather weird sorry on kiwami so it's good i don't have to bother with that and all so yeah here we go we got the driver. Uh oh yeah, this I'm gonna have to put it aside. Oh wait, we have shift formula. I wanna try shift formula. All this will go in later in the chest. I'm gonna put this bag aside since it's of no use. Okay guys, so I have cleared up most of my inventory. And uh okay yeah, so I'm gonna quickly take off the ghost armor and there's a good reason why. I'm gonna put up this and this. Oh look at that, this has a lot of buffs. This is almost equivalent to our uh, 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 Grateful Damishi. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, so they're almost equivalent. I think they almost have the same buffs. Except Ghost has invisibility, which is pretty darn good. Wait, let me get a look at it. Yeah, so this doesn't have invisibility, but it has a lot more of stuff. So we're gonna wear this for now. This looks freaking cool. I gotta admit, it looks cool. So that, that's the Kashidoki arms and uh, we're gonna need the Kiwami. But I also wanna try out this. Blood Orange. Ooh. It's got haste and speed. It's just probably a collector's item. Not really that interesting as I thought. Uh, so I'm gonna first put Kashidoki on, which has got some pretty good buffs. It's not bad, but it's not that great either. But Kiwami Lock Seed. It's unbeatable. Okay, so I'm gonna go and quickly put them away. Uh, that looks really good. So, oh no, oh no! I just realized something. We are not finishing it here today. I, 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 to I talked about another possibility for ghosts. I have really accidentally just left. I, I feel really bad for that. So I wanna really uh, take uh, uh, take this off, and I'm gonna put on the ghost armor. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. So don't hate me. Uh, wait, why would you guys hate me in the first place? Okay, yeah, so 
That looks sick. That looks really sick. I had to enchant the armor. I enchanted the new drive armor. I need to still enchant this. I got 32 levels. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the icon driver because it's gonna be in the way. And I have already preset this driver onto the new mode. I have I have ignored unfortunately, but I'm gonna show to you this time. Right, this is the wrong one. Sorry. Looks like mistakes were made again. Okay, so I've got to pull out this. This is the Mugen icon, which I have accidentally left behind in my previous episodes, even though I got it. And look at this. It's not the greatest buffs, it's pretty standard, but the buffs are really good. Like, not really good, but then they have pretty standard buffs. But the armor does look freaking amazing. So, uh, let's take off this armor. I'm gonna wanna how to put on the drive armor, so I'm gonna have to take this off. Uh, drive, your animations are going wild. Can you, like, please control? Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. So, I'm gonna put this on. And that's normal drive armor. I think you guys have seen it before. So, that looks good. That looks really good. So, that's new. And in drive, okay, I wanted to try out this shift formula, which is one of the strongest forms. Here we go. Ooh, wow, okay, that looks really good though. What, what, what are the buffs? Haste, strength, and speed. I'm like, it's probably good because this, this is one of the strongest forms before type tried around. It's got strength, it's got haste, and it's got speed, which is pretty darn good. I like it. I, I really like it. Uh, so I'm gonna put uh, this away and I'm gonna have to take off the drive armor because But look at that. No, I, I, I'm like legit. Just look at that. I Enchanted it and the animations are just horrid. So um, I'm like not horrid I could I could expect something like that But since the mod is still developing and it's a really really good mod shout out to Kelco K22 It's an amazing mod. I'm telling you that armor looks sick. That looks really sick. For now, we need to get down to X8 because somebody might be mad if I don't get this done fast. I'm gonna pull up Mighty Mom Max in Action X. This is one of the strongest gashats. I think I mentioned before. But I didn't show you the full work. Okay, yeah, so. Here's one thing I, I need to show you guys before I show. My aim of this episode was also to build weapons. And I have 17... Diamonds. I used three of them up for making this diamond pickaxe and I enchanted it. Look at those, look at the stats though. Unbreaking thing efficiency 3. It's gonna work for a really long time. But that's not the case here. We have di 9 diamonds on hand. And today we're gonna be making weapons. I have three weapons in mind. Two weapons mainly. And, uh, and one X8 armor to work on. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and pull out two mighty action X's. Now see, there's one thing unique about today's thing. Dove Mifa is okay. We didn't have Dove Mifa, but if you guys look at this, I don't know why is that there. Right, sorry. Proto Mighty Action X. This is a prototype which goes along with this. But look at this. Proto Mighty Action X Gashat Origin. We're not talking about uh, Action X. This is Origin. This, this might be something Pretty done worth looking at, but I am not sure exactly how good is it. Like, there may be some risks, but what's a risk if not taken? That's a thought. So, I need the X8 driver. That, that looks good. So, we got the X8 body. And uh, I'm gonna, like, quickly uh, go ahead and make a diamond sword. So, we got three diamond swords. And I'm gonna do this. This is a crafting recipe, which is... If you guys remember, in the previous episodes, I talked about wanting to get the Gashakon Key Slasher. And we have two Mighty Brata Double X, which I really wanted badly, and we got it. The plus 18 attack is here, and we still have to enchant it, so we might not know what we might get. Okay, so here's for the moment of truth. Uh, I'm gonna like put this here and I'm gonna wear this armor. <clears throat> Him! Shin! 
Ah, look at that. Speed and haste. It's like a typical armor. Same buffs like uh, drive, maybe. We're gonna try Juju Burger. Speed and haste, but it looks cool. He's got he's got his uh, arm guard sticking out. Helmet, he's got knee pads, it looks good. Proto Mighty Action X. Okay, that's not working. Looks like we need uh we need a different gashat for this. Uh what what is there? We need Gem. Okay, can we make a Gem? Yes, Gem has a driver. Okay, so we're gonna have to do uh, that later. But the real reason why I got this armor out. Maximum Mighty Action F. Look at that slowness, mining fatigue, strength and resistance. Whoa, this is just the opposite effect. I did not expect that though. Kel uh, I think that is to be expected because of his big because of his big body factor. But then I'm kind of disappointed. But that's on the point. I just wanted to use it very badly. Double Mighty Brothers Double X. Level 10 form and level 10 form has got speed to jump boost. Okay. Do this and you get level 20 form. Which does not have jump boost, but it's good. It, it doesn't have night vision either. Okay, wait. And this. This is Mighty Brother Double X left hand side form, which has night vision, which is very per per profitable during night time. So this mod has. You know, two ways of looking at it. We're gonna take this off and put this on, and now we are again. So here is the real deal. Look at the buffs. We got wither. And okay, I, I don't like this. Okay, we're gonna use this. We don't have wither. That's a difference. Okay, okay, that's cool. So that's how it works. Can we use this gashat? Oh no, this is only for emu. Okay, so basically speaking, that's how it works. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna head on towards crafting. Now that we've got the Gashakon Key Slasher, I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and... Uh, why am I in this mode? Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly clean up my inventory again for the next part of what I want to show you guys. Okay, yeah, so something something went wrong. The body is this side, but the face is that side. Okay, and that's not great actually. That's not good. Because you can see blade here, that, that's not happening to blade either. So, something's wrong here. And I'm not going to rectify it as of now. Okay, so my current goal is now for Gaim. We have three Kachidoki arms. I'm going to take one Kachidoki arm. I'm going to take a Himavari lock. And I think we're good to go. So, my aim here is to build a specific weapon. And that's called, let me just look for it, looks like I gotta look for it, uh, yeah, so that's called the DJ gun, 15 attack, it shoots, which I wanna test out, so I'm gonna transfer the items, we have one swap prepared beforehand, that's good, so that's the DJ gun, which looks cool though, so, it's night time too, so it's a perfect time. Well, it's, just, it's like shooting arrows, but it's pretty damn good too. You can like shoot, uh, it uses a lock seed as ammunition. Okay, I'm not really happy with this. I don't exactly want to use this as a gun because it uses lock seeds as ammunition. So for that, I have another modification. We're going to still use this weapon, but in a different form. Okay, so uh, let's go up. Yeah, this ha this entrance is pretty darn handy. I'm telling you. So, the DJ Ty Gun Tyken mode, which is 22 attack, which will already exceed our uh, Mega Guarded Preview. For which we will need the Maso Saber, which I have enough items. Luckily, that's why I said three ma uh, three three swords. So we're gonna get this. And now we got a melee weapon, which is much stronger than our me Mega Guarded Preview when we uh, uh, enchant it. It's gonna be freaking strong. And it's daytime too, so that's cool. Oh, you can see, if you can see the, uh, if you see the map up there guys, that's Journey Maps mod. I added recently because it was, it's, it, I needed some help. And I'm glad I had that. 
So we got two of the weapons I wanted today. But that is not it. We have to check out some stuff too. So uh, I think I forgot to mention it before, but this is a, a, the mod has been updated. Uh, what I was playing previously was uh, version 6.0 PRE, but now I'm playing version 6.0 PRE3. It's an upgraded version, and now it introduces all of these new switches for Feroz, which is darn good. Darn, 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 darn good. The switches do not uh, drop yet, the, you do not get them in ores as of yet, from what I have tried. In a different world, obviously, because uh, my experience from last time tells me that trying it in this world might be risky. Like, it won't come. That possibility lies. So, I try in a different world. The, these didn't drop, so I'm, I'm pretty sure these are not dropping yet, but these look pretty darn cool. Uh, where's my lapis? Okay, that's a lot of good, that's good lapis. Uh, so I wanna like put that in there and the DJ Titan gun gets sharpness, sharpness and unbreaking. I think I'll go with sharpness and yeah, that's good. That's already pretty darn strong. Oh shit, I'm sorry. So now we're gonna put this and we have fire aspect. Pain of anthropods and sharpness. I'm going with fire aspect. I think it'll burn your enemies or it'll do something, but it's fire. I'm not sure what fire will do now. Should we check out uh, la this? So how exactly do we use this lock seed? Let's go out and try. Oh, game crashed. Oh no. Oh wait. Game did not crash. It, it, it brought me somewhere. No. No freaking way. No freaking way. This is my base's area. It teleported me somewhere. But to a place that's very similar to my base's area. I'm like, there's still mobs here. I can see it. And mobs are not dying either. So this is the Helheim. I don't think you can... Uh, can you can you get something out of this place? I'm having lags. Okay. You wouldn't think that it would drop lock seeds, would you? It's okay, it's okay though, it's okay. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, I'm kind of disappointed in the lock seed. It brought me to Helheim, but no no aspects of getting orbs over there, as far as I could see. So, where am I? That's home, I'm in lava? Huh, okay, so I think that's it for today's video guys. I think in the next video I'll try getting Loomis Phenom into my video like for this we me and Loomis Phenom might start something new We might do a new segment on his channel too. So uh, look out for that I'll put a link to his channel if I if, if he like turns up anytime soon though so um, Have I gotten everything I wanted down on my list? We got the DJ gun and the Gashakon, Gashakon Key Slasher. That, that's pretty darn good. Is there any other weapon worthwhile crafting? Because I haven't checked anything else beyond that. It's because not all weapons give you the amount of attack you want. And when you want something, you need to make sure it gives you a lot of attack. Deep Slasher gives a lot of attack power. The Gashakon Magnum sucks. I think it's going to be pretty cost effective. It's not cost effective at all. Even though the overworld now can spawn new ores, the nether cannot spawn new ores. So that means I had to go and rebuild my whole base again in a completely new world. Like completely new world, this layout won't even be there anymore. So I have like to start everything from scratch. I could probably transfer stuff from world to world using player data. But uh, if I want to get nether stuff, I'm going to have to do a lot more testing. So, hmm, that, that's the bad, sad part though. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you like this video, give this video a big subscribe, big thumbs up, like, subscribe, and do everything else, because Strifinity must live on. I know it's a cool channel name. And look at that, they match so beautifully. Thanks for watching guys, hope you like this video a lot, give this video a big uh, th thumbs up, like, subscribe, do everything else, this video, this channel must live on. Thanks for watching guys. Kill the creepers.
Good. Bye.